Hey everyone, Kaylee here with my five minute ponytail routine. I'm gonna show you guys all the tricks that I use to make my ponytail look amazing in just five minutes. And you can use all of these tricks or just some of these tricks depending on what you want to do. Without these tricks, my ponytail is kind of limp. Like the top is really heavy, the ponytail is limp, and then it's saggy underneath the ponytail holder. None of those things are good. So I'm gonna show you all the tricks that I use and I can do this in five minutes every time. And to prove it, I'm actually gonna time myself through this whole tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is split my hair in half from the ears up and I'm going to clip the top half out of the way. That way we can deal with all the hair at the bottom first. So after I have that top hair clipped up, I'm going to brush the bottom hair into its own ponytail and you want that ponytail to rest right against the part from our section. Once you have that nice and tight, go ahead and secure it with an elastic. One of the big reasons that I like to do it this way is so that I don't have any sagginess underneath my ponytail. If you keep that nice and tight, it makes your ponytail look more elevated and actually a little bit more voluminous. So I like to pull that nice and tight so that there's absolutely nothing going on there that I don't want. To finish out the bottom ponytail, I'm taking a little claw clip and splitting the ponytail in half. Then I'm going to take the top half and hold it straight up and clip the little claw into it and that way it actually helps to add volume and width to your ponytail and it's going to be hidden underneath all the rest of the hair so you don't have to worry about this being really obvious so here's the before and the after you can see there is no saggy bottom on the after and you can kind of see a little bit of that lift starting in the ponytail as well and now it's time to let the top down and what i'm going to do first is actually tease the crown of my head just a little bit so i'm brushing the hair straight back I'm going to take that section of hair and I'm just using a hairbrush to very lightly tease it. My hair likes to split in the back, so I typically just do a little bit of teasing just to make sure that everything stays together. This is one step that I don't do every time. I thought I would show to you guys today so you can see the full effect, but this is definitely something that you can skip, especially if you're not a fan of teasing. So I just did a bit of teasing and I'm smoothing it out now. And then I'm going to sweep it back and together with the first ponytail. So basically we're going to pull these two ponytails together into one. And as I do that, I'm also going to look at how it looks from the front and make sure that I like the way that it's arranged. And this is one reason why I like doing the ponytail in two halves, because all I have to do right now is deal with the top half and get it perfectly the way that I want it. Then to secure it, I'm actually going to use a DIY hair bungee. You guys have seen me do this before where I take an elastic and I put a bobby pin at either end and I use that to secure my ponytail. But you can use a normal elastic here and it would be totally fine. To use the DIY one, all you have to do is stick the bobby pin in one side, wrap the elastic around, and then pin in the other side. And this helps to kind of secure your hair without messing up all the arranging we just did. But if that seems way too overachiever to you, just use a normal hair elastic and it will work just as well. And you can look here and see that doing the ponytail in two steps actually made the base of my ponytail a lot bigger and it provided more lift for the top of my hair, providing the illusion of having more volume. To finish off adding even more volume, I'm going to add one more clip in by separating the top half of the ponytail in half, and then I'm just going to clip it in just like we did before. Again, this is adding volume to the base of your ponytail to make your hair look a lot thicker than it actually is. You can see here the before versus the after. My after ponytail looks way more volumized than the before. For the finishing touch, I'm taking a small piece of hair to wrap around the elastic. And this time, because I find this the easiest, I'm just taking a very small piece and I'm wrapping this all the way around the elastic until all the hair is used up. Then I just pin the end with one bobby pin and I'm done. But you can use more bobby pins if you feel you really need that. Once you've got this hair wrapped around the elastic, you are completely done with this hairstyle. And this one only took me 4 minutes and 15 seconds to go from this to this. And that is my five minute ponytail routine. Now, sometimes I use all of these tricks and sometimes I only use a couple of them. And that's what I encourage you guys to do. Find the tricks that are gonna work for you and help your ponytail to look that much more awesome and use them to your advantage. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, and if you try out these hairstyles, send me pictures using the hashtag Kaylee Melissa. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.